most neurodegenerative diseases have in common the aggregation of proteins within the central nervous system. Uh, the nature of the aggregates that form differ. So for example, in Parkinson's disease, alpha-synuclein, a protein which we don't know the function, uh, aggregate. Uh, in another disease, for example, Alzheimer's disease, uh, you have the protein tau, which is a microtubule binding protein, or the, and or the peptide A beta, the amyloid peptide A beta, that aggregate. So the principle of neutralizing these aggregates uh, will be the same for all of these diseases, but because these aggregates are made of different proteins, uh, what we need are specific tools for each of these diseases. Even in, for example, synucleinopathies, for example, if we compare Parkinson's disease to multiple system atrophy, what we need are, for example, binders of alpha-synuclein, but in two different forms. The same is true for uh, Alzheimer's disease, where we would need binders of aggregates made of tau protein versus in alpha-synucleinopathies, binders to alpha-synuclein aggregates. Thank you.